Yeah, I mean, I definitely, um, I mean, I'm, I'm loving working with this kind of organization, working with the Sunday Square, the Bass family, and doing these residency projects. They've been great because they're kind of just taken off into all kinds of projects. They're heavily commission based, so kind of like we're working with architects and these ideas. I'm almost like a jack of all trades kind of an artist at this point. Pretty much everything that they're kind of trying to do in terms of revitalizing the downtown, they're just kind of wanting you know, different versions. So it's cool. I'm stretching my legs. I think that it can be tedious. I don't love social media. I'm not very good at it, but I think that the ones who are, it's helpful. An artist's ability to talk about their work or an artist's ability to chase opportunities or an artist's ability to get grants. I mean, I think it's great. I mean, I think that um, any space where the artists control how their message gets out is better than anything else, as well as the fact that I think that, you know, there was a lot of issues with the way that pre-internet, that the gallery system was run. And I think that it's okay to shake that tree a little bit. I mean, I absolutely am one to uh, say that this is a this is a business like anything else. And, and you are a single sole proprietor, entrepreneur selling a product that no one else has. One thing that can be so hard, especially if you spend all your time in your studio, is you don't really realize how far your reach is. You don't really realize where your work is, who's seeing it, who's talking about you. You can't see your fan base. And so sometimes it feels like nobody likes me, I don't know where they are, but there's all these people watching you that you didn't even know, you know? And, I, and in this process, especially when I've done big shows, I've had people walk up like, oh, I've been looking at your work for years. I'm like, what? You know, I had no idea. I have a lot of, uh, um, I have a weirdly big fan base in Germany. They reach out all the time and it's really sweet. It's like kids, like, hey man, that's cool. How do you do this? And I'm like, oh, so it's, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Danger Candy, yeah. So uh, um, the name Danger Candy comes from uh, my, my partner who passed away uh, this last year, Jeremy Jam. Joel. Yeah, Jeremy. He's just sending this video of him just popping out and going, that's Danger Candy. It almost sounds like he's complimenting the stuff in a way, you know, so it's kind of fun. So like, well, I, uh, my studio down as part of my residency is downtown and it's a really beautiful space and a prominent building. And, and so we just built a few temporary walls and left it as this kind of like raw gallery space in the front. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of want to use it to do these kind of like rough around the edges, kind of solo shows for artists who are kind of in a space who've never done that. So yeah, it's just going to be a cool, like, and I think in the kind of um, air of the way downtown is looking, the cultural map of it, it'll be this kind of gnarly, fringy gallery space where you can come in and like, be directly next to artists working and, and you know, sit on the couch and have a beer with them and see work. And, right. and, and you know, because there's going to be so many spaces that kind of elevate work. This is a little bit more of like a, here's the factory. Yeah, come in, look at the work, but don't trip over that paint can. Have a fun space. Mm -hmm.